A charity in Welsh business are sending thousands of pieces of PPE to Yemen to help healthcare workers there battle COVID-19. The situation in Yemen is critical. The disease currently has a 27% mortality rate. That's more than five times the global average. Ellie Pitt reports. The packaging of PPE has barely stopped at this Cardiff factory since the start of the pandemic. BCB have been providing life-saving equipment for Welsh frontline workers throughout. But as the outbreak eased on home soil, they have turned their efforts to helping other countries in the clutches of COVID. The numbers and statistics that are coming out of Yemen regarding the death toll of the healthcare workers is exponentially high. Um, they just don't have the equipment, uh, PPE, they don't have anything. Um, so it, it'll really go a long way to protect those people who are fighting to protect others. The company has been working with the Muslim charity who have fundraised through bike rides. Now 35,000 face shields and masks will make their way to Yemen where the spread of coronavirus is ravaging the healthcare system and population. The war-torn country was already in the grips of a humanitarian crisis when COVID hit. For a charity organisation like us, um, it's always really sad to see what's happening in the world. Um, and we're always constantly, you know, frustrated, feeling frustrated about the situation that the world is in. And to channel all of that frustration to a positive direction is what we do as an organisation. And getting the protective gear to those who need it in Yemen isn't an easy job. Corruption and conflict stand in the way. But the Muslim charity are embedded in the country. They've been working there since 2014. We knew we had to have a, a route to market, so to speak, a route in there. And we knew that they could deliver for us. So. Um, we cooperated together and uh, hopefully that'll, that'll um, give results to those people who need it most. The Yemeni community has lived in Wales for more than 100 years. Sailors first settled in the Docklands area of Cardiff in the 19th century after coming to work in the coal industry. Those from Yemen were just one nationality making up a vastly multicultural area of the city and their descendants still live in Butte Town today. Now the capital is giving back to Yemen. You know, at least our efforts will have some impact, even if it makes one child smile or one person or saves one life. For us, that means, you know, that, 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 that means the world to us. Where the impact of the virus is felt most severely, these kind gestures can make the biggest difference. Ellie Pitt, ITV News, Cardiff.